Alright, so I'm back here again. It's um, no more, no more small tyres. Finally got the BRP slicks. So it's definitely got the drag car look going on for it now. Um, I thought about getting the uh, really, really skinny tyres for the front, but those are more suited for um, drag racing. But um, these should, this should uh, do all right. It's uh, got 2846 gearing. Uh, I've got another clutch that is lightened, so I might. This will be a part one video testing to see how these perform on these tyres with this with the standard clutch then I'll be doing a part two video and I'll be putting the other clutch in that's lightened and we'll see how that goes but, uh, this is uh, my first time on BRP tyres so I've never ran these I've always admired them when I when other people had them on their pictures and videos I've never had a chance to get them on up until now so this is the first. It's a good sunny day but it's it's very windy. That's Melbourne Victoria for you. I need to choke it. Come on. All right. Something's wrong with it. Something is wrong with the tube.
something's wrong with the tuna, it's got, yeah, it's had um, too much fuel in it. It was a bit flooded, that's why I was acting that way. Still a torque monster on 2846. Something is wrong with it. <laughs> GPS is turned off as well. Something is wrong. I've got all my tuning gear at home. So I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe the plug. Should have brought some. I've got all my tools at home. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the, um, that's why it's packing materials come out of the muffler and it's blocking the. Oh, damn. All the packing material inside the mufflers forcing its way out of the exhaust muffler. That's why it's choking. I'll have to fucking cut that off and make it unsilenced. But um I've actually I'm actually gonna buy another exhaust pipe for it that is stainless steel from a guy in Germany. But um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, take off this exhaust, cut that muffler off, take out the packing material, and weld it back on. Because that is completely chocked up in there. Oh, there it 
it goes. So that blasted out all that packing material in the muffler. Now it's unsilenced. Well, that's good. At least I don't have to go home and pull it apart and cut this and weld that. Something happened to my GPS. Uh, definitely more power without the muffler in there. So the road is a bit dirty, so still a bit slippery. Does it handle better or worse on these tyres? Probably the same as the small ones. power band comes in and it just goes mental. So I'm getting um, some off-road tyres. I left the burnout. Um, I'm getting some off-road tyres. Uh, I've got hostile uh, knobby fronts, and I'm going to put BRP knobbies on the rear. So it's definitely uh, more loud without the exhaust packing material in there. But um, I'm going to get the stainless steel exhaust for this and see how it goes. It's a bit of um, engine bling, engine jewellery. I wouldn't do speed runs with these um, with these gears. I think with any gear, it just wants to do wheelies anyway. See what I mean? But still, it's a lot of good fun. I mean, even if the wheels don't stay on the front wheels, they stay on the ground. It's still a lot of fun. I'm having I'm having a good time. Probably need to put a brick. Put a brick on the front.
Put a brick on the front so the front stays down. They are peace flicks. Um, they definitely don't blow up at Pell Band, that's for sure. They the glue and everything holds on them pretty good. Um, definitely an awesome, an awesome tire, that's for sure. Uh, you've got a bit of inner wear on the insides. It's probably camber. Um, exhaust definitely works better without the packing material I need a f looks like it came loose there I need to tighten those bolts on the bracket not sure what happened to my GPS 
something, batteries or something came loose or they're gone flat, I don't know. Let's have a look-see. Oh, I lost the battery. That's what's going on. Huh. I don't want to find that battery because it's a rechargeable battery. Um, so what can I say about BRP slicks? Um, they're definitely, definitely worth the money. Twenty-eight forty-six on the road. It's a talk monster. It's a talk monster in every single gear. Let's put it that way. Um, nothing's going to keep that front down, and I've. Um, it's a pretty heavy rig anyway, so. Uh, I'm, so I'm waiting. To get that stainless steel exhaust, that's going to be a bit of engine jewelry. Um, so I'll go home, put the other clutch on, see how that does, see how that goes, and I'll do another video for that. All right, see you next time in part two.